Hi, I'm Stephen High. Uh, I did the painting in the exhibition called Robbie the Robot. Um, I'm very pleased and honored to be part of this exhibition. It's a, a great honor to be around such wonderful artists as, as this has been gathered together. Um, my background is I've been drawing and painting since I was three years old. I was heavily influenced by my father who was an industrial designer and uh, this is an image of his work. Uh, he worked uh, for the Ford Motor Company. He was an advanced stylist in their dream room and he designed future cars all through the 1950s and into the 60s. He uh, was a large influence because I was always at his drawing board from, from the age of three. I've been drawing and painting. And you could see why I would be influenced in drawing or painting robots. Um, I was always interested in the mid-century modern period of the design. I think it's one of the greatest periods of American design that there was. A lot of new innovation came out of it, the, the streamline and all of that type of thing, aerodynamic, and what their ideas were the future were. I also like vintage color. I like to do paintings that evoke a, a nostalgia so that when the viewer sees it, it takes them back to a place in time. And I also like to involve uh, uh, some humor. I don't do heavy, depressing type of work. I do work that's pretty straightforward, that just really, when you see it, it makes you smile. That's the type of work I like to do. And so I've done a number of paintings that have actually been exhibited around the world, some of them, and uh, it's, it's a really neat thing to do. But so these are, these are constructions that I do where I find parts, vintage parts, and then I assemble those parts into a, a robot. I see a personality emerge and with the parts and then I start to put it together and I end up with these constructions which eventually uh, will turn into paintings in themselves into two-dimensional so I'll go from three-dimensional into two-dimensional uh, I'm also a published author and illustrator uh, I've I've written and illustrated a couple of children's books that were successful this one was picked up by DreamWorks for a possible animation development and all of this work that I've done where I'm painting these single objects I've, I've very much influenced by the pop Art, pop art movement of the, the 1960s um, and so I like to do those single object things but it led me to some circumstances that you just I just can't even believe some of the things that my work has led me to and that was being selected by the film director George Lucas for his book Star Wars Visions he selected 120 fine artists from around the world to be part of a major museum exhibition and also a part of this book called uh, Visions and uh, you know who would have ever thought that you know me working in my studio here in Philadelphia in my basement would be one of the artists represented in this major art museum exhibition using fine artists of the world and this is the painting I did called Backyard Jedi but uh, art has been a journey for me I've been both a commercial artist where I was a senior designer illustrator for Aramark in Center City, Philadelphia for many years, almost 15, 20 years. Uh, I was a senior designer illustrator for a greeting card company for many years, which taught me how to really make deadlines uh, and become a working artist, someone who understands what it takes to create art, but also art that can be seen by others. Um, it's been a journey. And uh, I continue on this journey. I never know where that's going to take me. But I'm happy to share with you the Robbie the Robot painting. Uh, I love painting robots. It's one of my favorite subjects to do. I want to thank you and uh, wish you the best uh, today and always. Thank you. Stephen High.